Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. In the name of Allah, the most gracious, the most merciful. How are we doing today? Alhamdulillah. اليوم بإذن الله راح نتناول الصف الثالث والرابع الابتدائي مادة اللغة الإنجليزية. And today, inshallah, we are going to begin a new unit, days and weather, talk time. معكم المعلمة سارة الشبيكي ومعنا معلم لغة الإشارة الأستاذ فواز العقيل. As always, it's a pleasure. So, let's begin by reviewing our classroom agreements. First things first, if you're hungry, please pause the video, grab a snack, then come back. After that, find a comfortable, quiet place so that you're ready to learn. Also, let's not forget our weekend toolbook, a notebook, and something to write with. Are you ready? Okay. So let's go over what we took last time. Do you remember what we did last time? So today we're going to start a new unit. Last time we completed a unit with an evaluation lesson about, remember the unit? Unit animals. So what kinds of animals did we learn? Last time we learned about three kinds of animals, right? We learned about animals that we give homes, such as cats. We call them pets, right? Also, kinds of animals that live in the wild. And we have kinds of animals that live in a farm. Farm animals like cows, goats, ducks. Wild animals like tigers, wolves. And pets like cats and parrots, right? Okay, also, I would like to ask you, what questions do you have about the last unit? Usually, you would ask me. Now, I'm asking you, do you have any questions? Something you wonder about? You know, when something passes by and then it stops and you ask a question about it, it stays. Try it. Think of something you want to ask about. All right. Okay, so now we're ready for today's lesson. Let's begin by reading today's objectives. So today, inshallah, we are going to ask and respond to simple assigned sentences. We will identify intonation patterns of statements and questions. We will respond to short digital recorded materials. We will use subjective pronouns correctly. We will say likes and dislikes in context. We will write upper and lowercase letters correctly. As always, we will use lined paper correctly with headline, baseline, and midline. Are you ready? Okay. So, let's begin by a question. Do you have a day that you like more than the other days? Think about it. Do you know what a day is? So, throughout the day, think about it. You wake up and then you start your day and then at the end, what do you do? You sleep again. We can call this a day. So, we have a week that has how many days? seven days. Now let me ask you again, is there a day that you like more than the other days? Now tell yourself, actually no, tell me, why do you like this day? Say, why do you like Friday or Saturday? Now we're going to look at these two pictures and think, we do something special on the day that we like. Maybe this boy likes Friday because he plays tennis with his friends. Maybe this girl likes Thursday because she gets to visit her grandfather. Okay, so we like a day because there's something special about that day. We like that day because we do something that we like. Okay, now we're going to open page 26. We have an audio that looks like what's on page 26. So, are you ready to listen? Okay, let's begin. Hey, Aya. I was wondering if you're free to play with me and my friends on Friday. If it's not Wednesday, then I definitely can come. What do you have on Wednesday? I have art class on Wednesday. I really like Wednesday. How about you? I like Saturday. It's my favorite day of the week. Why? Every Saturday, I have a handwriting class. It's so much fun. I guess this means we both have Friday to look forward to. We sure do. Okay, so boys and girls, 
Did you have a chance to listen what Aya and Noura were talking about? So when I asked you, what day do you like? Maybe this day, on this particular day, every single week, when this day comes, you do this special thing. Here we have Aya and Noura talking to each other. It's not one day and that's it, no. She likes Wednesday because she has art class. And the other one likes Saturday because she has handwriting class. So this happens only once? Only one time? No, every single week, okay? Now, both girls are going to meet on one day. Do you remember what this day is? We're going to listen one more time, but before we listen, we're going to read the questions together. Ready? So, why does Aya like Wednesday? Okay, so you're going to think about the word Wednesday when you listen. What plan do Noura and Aya have on Friday? They're going to do something special on Friday. Okay, so let's listen together. Hey Aya, I was wondering if you're free to play with me and my friends on Friday. If it's not Wednesday, then I definitely can come. What do you have on Wednesday? I have art class on Wednesday. I really like Wednesday. How about you? I like Saturday. It's my favorite day of the week. Why? Every Saturday, I have a handwriting class. It's so much fun. I guess this means we both have Friday to look forward to. We sure do. Okay, so were you able to pick up what Aya likes to do on Wednesday? Or why she likes Wednesday? She has art class. Excellent. So we can say here, Aya, this is the name of the girl, Aya has... What does she have? Art class every Wednesday. We can write every, right? Class, art, class, every Wednesday. Full stop. Okay, so Aya has art class every Wednesday. Do you have your notebook with you? Write with me. Okay, now second question. What plan, think of this word, what plan do Noura and Aya have on Friday? What are they going to do? So both are free on Friday, right? Because Noura has uh, write, handwriting on Saturday, Aya has art on Wednesday. What are they going to do on Friday? They're going to play with friends. Excellent. They, when I say they, I mean Aya and Noura. They are going to play. Who are they going to play with? They're going to play with friends. Remember the word friends? The unit about friends? Okay. Full stop. Are you writing with me? This is good practice, so you get used to writing the letters and words and sentences. Okay. So, we're going to continue page 26. We're used to acting out, right? We talk to someone and say the same things over and over to remember them. Practice and act out the talk in pairs. So on page 26, are you, did you open page 26? Excellent. So we have two girls talking to each other. What are they saying to each other? Let's see. One is asking, what day do you like? And this one answered. What did she say? She said, I like Wednesday. How about you? Here we have how many sentences? two sentences. So instead of answering with one sentence, you're answering with two sentences. Now when she said, how about you, the other person, what did she say? She said, I like Saturday. So this is the one who likes Saturday. Noura and Aya likes Wednesday. 
clear? Now try to act out these, the, this simple conversation with a friend or a family member so that you get used to using the language, okay? Now, on page 27, we're going to introduce you to a game called Hot Potato Game. Now look around, maybe you have a ball lying around, a doll, a pillow. You can use anything to hold on to for this game. Now how are we going to play this game? We are going to use the ball or the toy or the pillow as a hot potato. Now imagine holding something hot. How does it feel? Do you feel like dropping it, right? So you have to say something really quickly and give it to the other person. Right? You don't want the hot potato to stay for too long, right? So, the ball is the hot potato, and then when you have the potato in your hand, what do you say? The question that we asked, what day do you like? You say it as quick as you can, and then you pass the ball to the person. The person says, I like, choose a day, how about you? Okay? So you're going to keep passing it back and forth until you say all the days of the week. How does that sound? Good practice, right? And a lot of fun. So look at this boy and girl. The boy is holding. This is the hot potato. Could you read this question? What day do you like? And then the other person said, I like Tuesday. How about you? Your ears are used to these sentences, right? You're used to them by now. So can you use them and say them? Excellent job. Okay, so now let me ask you this question one more time. What day do you like? We were talking about other people, right? And trying to remember the days of the week, right? Now, what day do you like? Is there a special day that you go out and play with your friends? or maybe one day that your mom lets you play video games, right? What day do you like? Why? Can you tell me why? Okay. Now, this is an example of why you might like some days of the week. So over here, we have the day Sunday. Maybe this person likes Sunday because she or he goes out to play with his or her friends. Right? And, oh, here she said, visit my sick friend. Do you think that you visit a sick friend every single week? No, maybe on this day the person was free. So she decided on this day, I'm going to go visit my sick friend in the hospital. Right? Visiting sick people, it's, it's a good thing to do, right? So she chose a day and she put it in her schedule. And maybe every Tuesday, she plays inside with her friends. And on Wednesday, what does she have on Wednesday? Do you like to play karate? Maybe she has a karate class on Wednesday. I think this is her favorite day. She does not want to miss karate, right? And on Thursday, he might like to go out and play soccer with his friends. He is, what's this question mark? Maybe the person is free on Friday. He can, if a friend asks him, what day would you like to come out and play with me? Or maybe we can go out and have lunch sometime. He'll say, I'm free Friday. And I have nothing else on this day. So we can go out on Friday. You see what we're doing here? We're looking at all the days of the week and we're choosing what to do on these days. And here we have Saturday. What is this boy doing? This is the day maybe he goes out to exercise and ride a bike. Okay, clear. And we have a note section in every calendar. Do you see what this boy is doing? He's reading a book. Maybe this person is reminding himself or this girl is reminding herself that I need to read every day before I go to sleep. Right? Planning your week is actually very helpful. Now, on page 87, we are going to start writing. Show me your pencils, raise them. So I see them. How do you hold your pencils? Excellent, you're experts, right? Okay, so on page 87, let's listen and practice and trace. We practiced saying these sentences. Let's read them together. What 
day do you like? You trace and I write. What day do you like? Full stop. Is that all? Yeah, I'm supposed to add a question mark in the end. Excellent. Because this is a question. Now the second one, the answer to the question is, I like Saturday. I like Saturday. And full stop. Okay, do you leave space between words? Remember, when you write, I know that you're tracing, but when you write, do you leave space between words? Yes, it's very important that you leave space between words, okay? Now, on page 88, let's listen, point, and practice. This time, we're going to trace something different. I like Saturday and Sunday. Do you remember when we use the word and? I like to play uh, basketball and draw. So when do I use the word and? Yes, when I want to combine two things. So here we have, I like two days, Saturday and Sunday. Let's write them together. I like Saturday. And, what's the other word? Sunday. Excellent. And full stop. Oh, did you notice the question mark over here? Yes. It should be a full stop. Excellent. Okay. Now, on pages 87 and 88, we will continue listening and pointing and practicing letters of the alphabet. So, remember how at the beginning we only used to write uppercase? This time we're only we're uppercase or lowercase. I think lowercase. This time we're going to do both uppercase and lowercase and notice the difference. Now we have the letters I, J, K, and L. I, uppercase I, Lowercase i. Do you notice the difference? I didn't trace it. I have to remind myself to trace first. Uppercase, lowercase. Next we have the letter j and lowercase j. Notice how uppercase always stands on the line. Lowercase j goes below the line. Then we have uppercase K and lowercase K. Both stand on the line. Uppercase K, lowercase K. Uppercase K, lowercase K. Did you see the difference? It's a small difference. Uppercase L, lowercase L. Uppercase, lowercase. Uppercase, lowercase. Okay. Show me your pencils. How proud are you of yourself and your writing? Excellent job. Okay, so now let's first remind ourselves that we can complete pages 87 and 88 if you didn't have a chance to finish it with me. Now, what did we learn today? We learned to act out the what do you like talk. We ask a question, we, get an, we give an answer, and then we give another question so that we can have a conversation. Also, we learned to say what day of the week we like. Also, we talked about why. Why do we like this day? So before we end today's lesson, 
Let's just read the sentence together and have a little chit chat about this. What does it say? Praying five times a day helps us to organize our day. So do you remember when we looked at the planner and we saw that there is a karate class and then there is a bike riding day? Did you see how you organized your week when you looked at the calendar? Now throughout the day, how many times do we pray? Five times a day. Fajr, Dhuhr, Asr, Maghrib, and Isha. What happens when it's time to pray? While you're, while you're playing, while you're writing or reading or doing anything, what do you do? You put everything down and then you go, do wudu, and then you pray. What happens? Do you know the reset button that you have in some of your games? Yeah? So when you stop everything and then you go and you pray, it's like you're refocusing again. So you feel like when you come back to play again, you have more energy, right? Also, prayer times does organize your day because you know what time the prayer is going to come, okay? And that's it for today, boys and girls. Thank you so much. I'll see you again next time, inshallah. See you soon.